Last year, West Virginia Public Broadcasting featured one of West Virginia's last remaining broom makers, Kanawha County resident Jim Schaefer. The story ended with a question. Would this dwindling art continue once he retired? We went to learn the story of another broom maker, a woman named Wanda Hott, who lives near Romney in Hampshire County. She originally reached out to Jim Schaefer several years ago to ask for his help learning to make brooms. Well, actually, I got into broom making because my sister wanted to know what I wanted for Christmas one year, and I wanted I needed a broom. I wanted a practical broom, and she got me a broom from Jim Schaefer. And I looked at it, and I thought, huh. Wanda Hott fell in love with that broom and remembered her great-great-grandmother used to make brooms. She wanted to learn how to make them, too, and started teaching herself. For some help, she reached out to Jim Schaefer. I picked up the phone and gave him a call, and he answered about the seventh ring, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda began buying broom-making supplies from Jim, and they became friends. We went to Charleston to meet Jim and to learn how to make brooms. He, he was very patient and uh, did not mind showing how to make a broom and how to sew it. And he had brooms everywhere and broom corn and that was just down my alley. That's what I wanted, wanted to learn. Wanda has been making brooms for the past 13 years now. And then last year, Jim Schaefer called her and told Wanda he had decided he was not able to continue making brooms. Hoping to pass on his craft to the right person, he offered to sell her his broom making equipment and she accepted. Wanda hopes her broom making business will be her main source of income once she retires from her day job driving a school bus. And as it turns out, two of her granddaughters, Shelby and Kira, have taken a particular interest in the broom making craft as well. It sparks my interest. It's something that I'm able to actually sit down and do or pay attention to, and it doesn't lose my interest. Um, I'm a really hands-on person, so I really like to be able to like feel something and have it in my hands, and broom making is a really good way to do that. And I like spending family time because I think spending time with family is really important, so it's kind of a way to do both for me. I'm not sure really how it happened. It just evolved. <laughs> we, um, I learned to make the broom to start with, and then I would teach my sister and our friend. And when somebody came, they, family members came, they would jump in, and it, it was a big thing. Yeah. So it, just teach them, you know, anybody wants to see, we teach them how to make brooms. The brooms made with Jim Schaefer's equipment take about 25 minutes to finish, and they sell for about $17. Wanda sells them to local Lions Clubs, just like he did. In addition, she and her family also make a variety of decorative brooms by hand without the machine. Since they take longer to make, she sells those for up to $50. When we were making a broom by hand with the three of us doing it, we, we have no two brooms are alike. They're, they're, everything's different. Wanda hopes broom making continues to be a big part of her family's tradition. For Shelby and Kira, they want to continue that tradition too. I think it's a really great thing that there are still people around that still want to make brooms because it is a really like neat and wonderful thing to learn, especially if you're a person who likes to pick up different hobbies. It's a really neat hobby and it's a really neat thing to get to do. It's something that I think should be passed on. People should know how to do it because you're not going to always have plastic and you're not always going to have the machines. I mean, this is something that you can, the broom corn something you can go and make it yourself. You don't have to go and buy it. Wanda Hot's brooms have been getting noticed. She's even had customers as far away as California and Illinois. And with her entire family also interested in making brooms, for now, it looks like this art form won't be disappearing in West Virginia anytime soon. For Inside Appalachia, I'm Liz McCormick in Kirby, West Virginia. You can hear this story and more on the Inside Appalachia podcast. It's available on wvpublic.org or wherever you get your podcasts. That's Inside Appalachia. Get the podcast and you can listen on your own time.